Hello and welcome back to MKC Electronics. Today guys, I have a first piece of the upcoming build which a customer did order. And uh, we have here Ryzen 9 3900X. So 3900X, uh, it's a 12 core CPU, 24 threads, 3.8 gigahertz uh, base clock and uh, 4.6 gigahertz max boost. On that uh, 4.6 gigahertz max boost, they uh, claim 105 watts TDP and uh, they have a 70 megabytes cache and it's obviously unlocked CPU. Up till now actually all Ryzen CPUs was unlocked uh, if you had a proper motherboard. Speaking of motherboard guys, so this motherboard is ready for that uh, 3900X and it's a uh, DITX motherboard, it's a uh, sort of bigger ITX motherboard. And uh, as well, uh, we are waiting for the case, which will be Thermal Take Level 20, Micro ATX case, and will be all water cooled with 2080 Ti and etc. Will be high end built. So that will be in the next uh, few videos the motherboard, uh, the case, and the build itself. So stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see that. Okay, let's get back to the CPU. So let's open it. Okay, slides like that. It reminds me phone opening, like uh, iPhone or something like that. And uh, here is chip itself. Ryzen 9 3900X. The body look always the same. Yeah, same like for Intel CPUs. They always look the same, but uh, the real change is here. Look how those pens are dense. I've seen uh, already a few boards on eBay, like a spare repair with a damaged socket. And uh, I can imagine it uh, did get damaged by uh, when you install the CPU. Uh, and uh, AMD, is, AMD is actually famous for that for a long time already, already since uh, Atlum 64. Uh, with this flat surface, the coolers tend to get uh, like a really, really good grip and uh, they stick. So once you remove the CPU after, a, let's say, even a week, a yeah, few few days, yeah, and it will be nice and sticky on it. So the CPU will come up, actually, come out actually with the CPU cooler, uh, even if you didn't unlock unlock it on the motherboard. So I can imagine because it's uh, the CPU have so many pins, it's so dense, so the CPU socket that became fragile. All right, so let's put this one aside. Oh, yeah, they have some uh, paperwork there. Important, important, please read. So they are actually saying it's uh, compatible with out of the box with all 500 series motherboards. And uh, with, if you have a 400 series motherboard, make sure you, you flash your BIOS with the latest one. All right. Uh, AMD processor certificate of authenticity. Okay, put it aside. And actually, from this unboxing, it's more the most interesting thing will be this uh, right cooler. So, straight up out of the box, you can see they have a pre-applied thermal paste. I would recommend not using that. Put there something high-end like a uh, grizzly cryonaut or a uh, Arctic freezer, uh, something like that. Don't use this one. I, at least I would not. It's it's up to you guys. So yeah, they have a pre-applied thermal paste. You can have a look on the CPU fan. The CPU fan, uh, to me, it's look like it's an 80mm fan. And uh, all that RGB happening all around here. And uh, your standard CPU fan header. All right, so if you look at it from the side, so on the side, on the left hand, you have uh, two connectors. Which one of them is for the RGB header, which you can connect to your uh, motherboard if you have a RGB header and connect the lighting with the RGB header. And then you have uh, this USB uh, cable and you can connect it to USB and uh, control the RGB through USB cable. So they goes in here. Uh, kudos to AMD, you can detach both of them and you don't have to use it if you don't have a, I don't know, tempered glass or you don't wanna see the RGB on, on your CPU fan because you have a stout belt. belt. Then we have a here a small switch which is marked L and H. 
uh, that's for RPMs, low RPMs and high RPMs. So you can switch it between those two. So the CPU cooler itself, it's quite heavy and it's uh, all copper based. See, the base is copper and those tubes are copper and the heatsink itself, it's aluminum. So I can imagine it does quite good job. But we are not using this one because, uh, come on, 12 cores, 24 threads with the air. No, not happening. All right, guys, so that's it for the unboxing 3900X. We've seen the CPU, the box, the cooler. The cooler, actually, I'm surprised. It's look very good and it's uh, well thought with the detachable, uh, detachable USB and uh, RGB cable for controlling those uh, RGB effects on the CPU cooler itself. Only what is left now, guys, to invite you to subscribe, like, and share to my channel and my videos because I, I will be working uh, on more content to bring it for you guys. And uh, for example, upcoming video will be that motherboard and the uh, case and uh, the whole build of the Ryzen 9, including uh, comparison to my uh, i9 9900K, where I will be doing. Uh, but I will be doing uh, 3D Mark and uh, Blender and whatever comes in my in my mind to compare those two CPUs. I'm pretty sure my i9 will get blown out of the water, of, as I've seen already some tests. But uh, Intel still can claim the gaming king of the CPUs. Yeah, they still have just a little bit above the Ryzen 9 3900X. Thank you for watching, please like, share, subscribe and see you guys in the next video.